Hey Chabarkans, are you ready for your next workout? This one's going to be a full body workout at the beginner level done by Coach Alex. Welcome to our full body workout for beginners. We're kicking off with some good mornings, focusing on warming up and strengthening the lower back muscles and your hamstrings, as well as working to improve core stability, which is important in every sport and activity. Start with your hands behind your head, maintain a hip width stance and slightly bend the knees as your upper body is going down. You will begin feeling those back muscles really working out after 20 to 30 seconds into the exercise. However, if you still find it easy, you can create greater resistance by pushing your upper body down with your hands. Begin by stretching your opposite arm aside to maintain your balance while the other arm rests on the working leg. Be prepared to change the legs at the 20 seconds mark. Hip abduction is the movement of our leg going away from the center line of our body. We use such movements when we take a side step, get up from the bed or out of the car. Our hip abductor muscles are important for support and stability as well as avoiding injuries both during workout and our normal daily routine. Here, we are combining two amazing exercises together. Push-ups, that are one of the greatest exercises for upper body strength, and mountain climbers, which is fantastic for core and lower body. We are essentially doing a full body workout right now. We are doing it on the knees to make it simpler and easier as this is an entry level workout, but if you feel confident enough, you may try it from a normal push-up position. Open your arms wider to strengthen your chest muscles or bring them closer to work out those tricep muscles at the back of your arms that help you throw stuff. Start with your arms aside and perform small circles forward. Keep your feet at a hip or shoulder distance for better balance. Be prepared to switch the circles from forward to backward at the 20 seconds mark. I'm sure you've guessed it by now, but this exercise is designed to fully work out your shoulders. Our shoulders are made up of three separate parts or heads, front, side and back. With the forward circles, we are focused on the front and the side parts, whereas with the back circles, we're working more on the back and the side heads. To escape from the standard plank exercise that I'm sure you're used to by now, we are combining it with jumping jacks which lets us form an entirely different and more complex workout. It remains core strengthening, meaning we are focusing on your abdominal and back muscles, but we are adding a cardio element in it for an additional fat burn as well as lower body work. In particular, your hip adductors and abductors, the inner and outer part of your legs, but even your quads and hamstrings. Keep your feet at shoulder distance and your back straight as you're squatting down. We're only doing half squats as those are great for your quadriceps muscles at the front part of your legs, but not harmful to your knees like the full squats may be. 
In addition, we're doing a cross knee to elbow, which you will feel in the whole abdominal area. We are touching the opposite knee and elbows so that we can really reach those side muscles around your tummy to help you look even more slim and fit. With the flutter kicks, we'll be targeting your lower abdominal muscles or the downside of your tummy. Lay down, slightly lift your legs up and perform a scissor-like motion with your straight legs without letting them touch the floor. In addition to working out your abs, the flutter kicks bring us other benefits as well, such as better stability and posture, stronger hip flexor muscles and overall support for your whole body. You've come this far, so don't give up just yet. We will finish our full body workout with perhaps the ultimate full body exercise, the burpee, but done in a slightly easier way. Instead of jumping with both our legs back and forth, up and down, we'll be moving them one by one and simply standing up instead of jumping. This focuses on the same muscles all over the body that a regular burpee does, but in a less tiring way. Perfect for anyone who has recently started doing workout routines. That was a tough exercise guys, don't forget to smash that like button and check the VLE for more videos coming to you soon.